Hey, it's Dane Scott here along with Pocket Frog. Yo. And uh, today, once again, we're going to give you another little hint on how to use Twisted Wave. It's a program for the Mac that uh, can be used for recording voiceovers, but for other things too. And for people who work in audio, here's a tip coming up that may come in handy even if you don't do voiceovers. That's next. Three, two, one. Studio Takes. Real help for the aspiring voiceover artist. Okay, so it's Dane here, and uh, yeah, usually I've got the U87 sitting here. That is in the shop. I've got a little technical problem going on, so that's over at Sweetwater right now, and I've got my Fifine K670 in its place. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? Not bad for $39.95. This is actually my follow-up, my backup microphone. I had about, what, one hundredth of the price, and yet it does a pretty good job. I'm doing my voiceovers on it right now, and no complaints from anybody so far, so it's good to have a backup. And if you can't afford an expensive backup, this works. All right, today we're doing something with Twisted Wave. Uh, Twisted Wave is a program for the Mac, which is very, very simple for people who would want to do voiceovers and they don't want to have to deal with a, a program that's actually designed for producing complicated music on multiple tracks, Twisted Wave can do the whole job for you. It does for me. Uh, and it's very inexpensive and it's very, very simple to use. Today, though, we're not going to use it for voiceovers. We're going to use it to convert files. And this is a way that you can do it without having spent anything more than what you spent on Twisted Wave because there's nothing you have to add. There's no uh, third-party program that you have to add to it. Here's my session that I recorded off the screen explaining it just a few minutes ago. If you work a lot in audio, there's a good chance that you're occasionally going to need to convert files from one file format into another. And, you know, there are programs for the Mac that can do that that you pay for, programs like Switch. But if you have Twisted Wave you've already pretty much got everything you need to convert files by a lot of different means to whatever format you want. Now, I happen to have a group of files here that uh, just are, actually, there's some old Sherlock Holmes adventures that I found online in M4A format. I'd like them in MP3 format for my particular uses. So what I've done here is uh, I'm just showing you the, the folder, and then I've created a separate subfolder here just called converted, where I want to put the converted files. Then we'll go to Twisted Wave. And from the file pull-down menu, I'm going to choose Batch Processing, which brings up this little window here. I will now select all of the files over here, and we're going to drop them into this lower window pane right there. That just indicates the ones that we want to batch process. And then we're going to add just one action here inside of uh, the batch processor, and that is Save. Okay, And then we'll hit Edit on Save. And rather than original location, which means that the converted files would go right in the same folder with the ones that are already there, I'm changing that here to the folder that's called converted, just because I don't want to get them all mixed together. And then for the format, rather than keep original, let's make them uh, MP3s. That'll take uh, maybe you know 30 seconds to a minute to do, but we'll go ahead and wait for it to happen. I'll click OK, and now it's all set to go. All I have to do is to click Start Processing, and it this actually is capable of up to eight concurrent tasks, so that means it's going to start processing all eight, or in this case, all six at once. So I'll click Start Processing. And while that's running, I'll actually go into Converted, and you can see that it already has created temporary files for all the MP3s it's about to drop on us here. And it's working on those right now. Well, we can actually watch the process. And you can see that already, um, let's see, one of them has been converted. Uh, others of them are losing their TMP status, meaning that they are done. And um, surprisingly, there's no kind of an indicator here showing. But, you know, okay, once it was all done, it just went away. And so all of those files now have been converted into MP3s. That's what you call a real nice, simple, easy process. And if you wanted to, you could even save this process and give it a name so that in the future you could convert from, uh, you know, M4A to MP3 or just basically convert any file format to MP3. So we could save that out as a little, uh, little plug-in for ourselves, a, a saved process that we can pull up in the future if we want to batch process in the same way again. So that's the beauty of uh, Twisted Wave. We keep finding new and really cool things we can do with it uh, for this very inexpensive program. It's absolutely amazing. 
All right, that's all there is to today. Enjoy that feature if you happen to have Twisted Wave, and I'll try to update you with some other cool things as I find them and as we have a chance to get together on them. Don't forget to get over to thegigdoctor.com if you need some help with coaching. I would love to do that with you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hello. Hello. Hello, I think. Hello, cutie pie. Until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. Goodbye. Thank you.